I've seen people shoot up on the streets. I've seen them right, 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 right by my building. I've walked by, I've seen needles on right in the middle of the intersections. I've seen people doing weird things that I are uncontrollable, so I'm forced to take a really wide berth. And I'm grateful that I'm actually coming to, to see it rather than it happening behind me. What's happening here is that we've seen a number of break-ins an increase in break-ins that's happened within the past year or at least ever since the needle clinic has opened up. Um, just a few minutes ago, I, um, my friend and I, we just chased a, a person who was trying to break in. Uh, he was trying to cut the wires of this fence, as you can see here, and gain access to the uh, garage. Now, we've had a numerous um, uh, car window smashings um, that's occurred in the garage here before. I love the park. I used to go to that good earth all the time. I've stopped going there. I used to walk up this way and go to Safeways. I've stopped doing it because I don't feel safe doing it. The chairperson for the uh, board of directors, they uh, spoke to a couple of the restaurants and a lot of them are closing, in fact, because of the high increase in crime in the area. I didn't move into this neighborhood to have to live with that. I don't think any neighborhood should have to live with that. I don't think that sending their clients into the streets with the paraphernalia so that they can do the drugs in the streets is what that should be about. I think that they should be safe consumption on the site, period. I'd like to see a higher police presence and um, you know maybe council can address the issue of what's happening because there is a high correlation with having the needle clinic open um, to the number of break-ins and increase in crime rates within the area.